So hello to all of you, wherever you may be, from the Juventus Stadium in the Alpine city of Turin. And here we have Real Madrid against Juventus. This is Peter Drury, and next to me, providing insights, will be Jim Beglin. Hi everyone, and thanks Peter, it's great to be on board. Lineups for the game. Underway. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? It has to be the brains of the operation, Tony Kroos. He's another one of the elite passers in world. It's there! Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt, and here we are, early stages. He struck one, and he looks hungry for more. Uh, he was never going to miss from there. Oh, players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick-minded was that? Juventus didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Pjanic. Oh, listen, I think you can understand at times that the pace of the game pressures players into split-second decisions, and sometimes they just make the wrong one. And I think he would have been better placing that. that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. Massive leap! Last stitch defending, but that'll do. Pjanic. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Pjanic with the ball through. He's dealt with that well. Now it's Benzema. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide. Bale tries running with the ball at his feet, tries a through ball. Oh, he's found him in space! Good clearance and very necessary. Again. Well, he should have done better. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Good clearance now. Can they make something of it? He'll have a dip. That really should have hit the net. Yeah. that he should have come up with something better there. I timed this run brilliantly and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then and I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. Bale goes through the middle. Goes for goal. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? They've managed to get it away. Pjanic plays it long. Sergio Ramos. And the first half is done. Not the most convincing of displays. They can certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence and not... And the action is back on the way. 
Juventus need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Alexandro. I have to say that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Boom forward. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Now it's Iguain. What a save! Terrific! And the ball's come loose and the chase is on. And he's there to hoof it away. Oh, nearly. But nearly is nothing. Alexandro. In with a header! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Juventus have players queuing in the box in that situation, and they've still got nothing to show for it. What a complete and utter waste. Goalkeeper's ball. Bale. Dybala. Dybala has a go! Gorgeous from Dybala! Juventus are level! Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Ventus and the sub ready to come on. Rafael Varan. Isco. De Chilio. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. Now the pass. He's gone for it! Goal, Juventus! And the comeback is complete! Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things. Just put your foot through it and that was a good example. Great contact and the keeper had very little chance. And it's an inspired substitution, terrific move by the boss. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been, go on and make... He scores! Two up and threatening to pull clear. <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo showed real composure then. I mean, how often do you see a player do everything right until he gets into the box, only to completely kind of fluff the finish? Not him. Juventus take a two-goal lead and are looking good for the win. Well, that goal should be a big game-changer. It's certainly been a big mood-changer. Benzema. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Quadrado tries a long pass towards the front. Tries to dink it in. Real Madrid are keeping their men at arm's length here. I just think it's a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. And it's Benzema. He's off on a marauding run. Passes it through. Now it's Benzema. Drilled in low. Who's going to make this theirs? Quadrado looks to dig one in. Tony Kroos. Oh, good interception. Nice tip ball up. Looks like a good ball through. Modric. Looks to slip it through. Has a hit! More and more and more and more! They are running riot! And surely that settles it. Well, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. Look, the goal was well manufactured, but the striker probably can't believe he's been given that much space in the penalty area. And he wasn't going to miss. 
He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did. Referee looks at his watch. The emotional, physical, mental is spent. That is some win. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Look, you often need results.